It was a moment of pride and happiness for this dynamic community of Gambians living and working in Europe. The change in government back home has reawakened their nationalist feelings that after years of fear and exile, their homeland is now on the path to democracy and freedom. For the president and several of his ministers that were present, this reunion was a rare opportunity to thank them for their support in the struggle for freedom and also convince them to actively take part in the rebuilding of the country. Only Gambians can develop the Gambia. Government will support citizens who want to open businesses. But this cannot happen unless Gambians put hands together so that the country can move forward. President Barrow assured them of his government's resolve to initiate reforms that would make it easier to travel and move goods and services. This has been singled out as the biggest challenge faced by the diaspora, many of whom are eager to start businesses back home. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, International Cooperation and Gambians Abroad, Hussein Dabo, said he will work closely with European partners to resolve some of the problems faced by Gambians in Europe. These reassurances from the President and Foreign Minister Dabo was all that these people wanted to hear, and many of them were prepared to take the challenge. We are very much grateful to hear that he is in support of business, and uh, inshallah we will come back to Gambia and invest as Gambian citizens. Uh, and also we will thank him for speaking on behalf of us and for him being so grateful uh, to us. So we will also contribute and support him as a Gambian. If we have a president that has the Gambia at heart and have the Gambian people at heart, then we should be very, very happy with him and then we should also help him. Yeah, I was really impressed with the speech, especially that of Dabo. When he called for unity and the diaspora, he actually acknowledged their contribution and then asked us to be agents of unity, not agents of division. For once, the government and the diaspora in France stood united, with each embracing the other as a partner in national development, hoping that this rare meeting will motivate all Gambians to put the past behind and forge ahead as one people and one nation. Momo Dijalo, GRTS News.